Keep an eye on the lighthouse. We're supposed to look for a signal. Works for me. This is our base of operations, the village of De Buisson. Most people here are good, but we must operate in the shadows. You never know where the Gestapo has eyes. How bad have things gotten? The German occupation has turned every neighbor into a possible enemy. That's terrible. I will do anything to get the Nazis out of my country. The Third Reich is ruthless. But so is the French Résistance. I grew up here. My old school teacher still lives in that house. My grand-père was the village tailor. My parents owned the bicycle shop. That's the boucherie. 
where my brother went. And here we are, our secret base. Welcome to my bookstore. Marcel has a special workshop upstairs. For things you know, that the boom. <laughs> we have a serious problem. Something big is happening inside Gestapo headquarters, and we don't know what it is. Against my wishes, Juliette works inside, undercover as a clerk. She's seen a dramatic increase in radio transmissions and coded messages. What's it all about? They have something, I don't know what, locked away on the second floor. I can't get near it. They've even brought in the Waffen SS. We need to find out, but our usual source of information has suddenly gone quiet. He knows what's going on. Is he a high ranking German? Worse, he's French, a collaborator. <laughs> His name is Louis Metz. He used to be mayor of this town. But he has now betrayed everything and everyone. But if he's a Nazi collaborator, why does he help you? Because we have photographs. Whatever propels Louis to betray his nation also propels him to drink. And uh, other excesses. This man is depravity incarnate. <sighs> have no doubt he will do anything to save his own skin. But something has him spooked badly enough that he broke off contact with us two weeks ago. And we're going to go after him. So we're gonna kill him? No. Kidnap. Lieutenant, this is a perfect spot for our ambush, but we need you to clear out the checkpoint first. Pictures. I'll explain it when you're older. Louis and his convoy will pass through here in a few minutes. He travels with an entourage of well trained troops, so we need to be careful. What are you thinking? We set a trap. Some dynamite along the road. Boom. Some spigot guns in strategic spots. And our people positioned along the road. We have to be precise. We need to neutralize everyone but Louis. No witnesses. Lieutenant, let's put a plan together. Where do you want the dynamite? Uh -huh. 
excellent choice. Tom. And now our people. I'm on it. Be careful. Juliet? The sergeant? Say on the other side. And finally, where do you want me? Good work. The convoy will be here soon. You can see everything from up there. Bonne chance. Good luck. English, please? Yes, I feel like we're missing some interesting discourse here. Why haven't you reported in? It's been two weeks. They know there's a spy. Be careful. You poor baby. What are the Nazis up to? Winning the war? Fils de pute. I have zero patience right now, Louis. If you think that I'm treating you bad, imagine when we tell the Gestapo all about your nocturnal activities. Remember, I have pictures. <laughs> there is a list. A list? Of all the Resistance members in Normandy. The Gestapo's been compiling it for months. They are bringing in a trainload of special troops to round everyone up. When? I do not know. I am not privy to... <laughs> Tonight! Five o'clock. Uh... Marcel. Oui, mademoiselle. We need to blow up the trees. Allons-y. So how does one become a collaborator? What are the job qualifications? Weakness? Cowardice? Or just plain self-centered opportunism? <laughs> All of the above. Unfortunately for me, we still have a little business to take care of. I cannot go back to the Gestapo looking this good. I need to look like I bravely escaped. I don't want to hurt my dreams of becoming a concert pianist. Lieutenant, please do the honor. <coughs> Lieutenant. 
Time to catch a train. Can I punch him in the stomach? Everything ready? Of course, mademoiselle. Okay, let's fall back. No, no, we're safe here. I'm pretty confident in my measurements. Are you crazy? Oh, too late. God help us. Boom. Nice work, Marcel. Merci beaucoup. This gentleman appears to be the highest ranking German on the train. Not good. This is one of Rudolf Miller's men. Uh oh. Miller is the director of special projects for the German High Command. He's involved. It's not good for anyone. He's not very nice. What's it say? Hell, lots of words in German. Operation Annihilation. The troops on this train were being sent to Dubuisson to round up some resistance members all over Normandy. And not just suspected members, every person in their family too. What about the list? Of extreme secrecy, 
There's only one copy being kept in a safe on the second floor of Gestapo headquarters. It says that the list has over 400 names on it. Well, shit. They're just going to keep sending trains. We need to get that list. But it's impossible to sneak in. The second floor is guarded around the clock. I have an idea. Mano, a frontal assault on Gestapo headquarters is a much different proposition than ambushing a convoy or blowing up a train. We can't do it alone. C'est vrai. It's true. We need more resistance members, but that's much easier said than done. <gasps> I know who we could get! No, no, oui. no, 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 oui, no, oui, no, oui, no, oui, no, 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 no. They're crazy. Oh, Marcel. I'm afraid I agree with your sister. They're idiots. Who are we talking about? Ah, <sighs> the Vino brothers. The Vino brothers. What the hell is a Vino brother? We have to be very careful. Since they keep the cells separate, no one knows for sure who is really in the Résistance. Everyone is suspicious of each other. I know what you're thinking. How can we trust this group is truly Résistance? Well, some cells are not as discreet as others. They're not that bad. I wonder if they're home. Drop your weapons. Put your hands up. Make any move and we shoot. Hello, Juliette. Hello, Vincent. Coucou. Drop your weapons. Put your hands up. Make any move and we shoot. Hello, Juliette. Hello, Vincent. You have a lot of nerve trespassing on someone else's property. I recognize you and your sister, but who is that with you? Our friend is with the OSS. They've come to help the Resistance. Hey, oh, we are just simple winemakers. We know nothing of this uh, Resistance. How do we know you're not all just the Gestapo spies coming here to arrest us on false charges? We don't have time for games. We need your help. The real Gestapo is about to round up every Résistance cell in Normandy. Hey, there's something coming. convoy. It looks like they're going to start with you. Please, we are on the same side. Prove it. Let's fight. <sighs> Lieutenant, we need to stay out of sight. Find a good place to hide. Excellent, Lieutenant. You're out of sight. Try not to make a sound. Don't shoot until the Germans stop their truck.
Okay. We believe you. We need to join forces and raid Gestapo headquarters. Gestapo headquarters? We'll do it. But we need more than just people. We need weapons and supplies. The Germans are fortifying Point Duc. Maybe we could steal what we need from there. And how do you suggest we do that? Maybe you could use some of these uniforms and take that truck. <gasps> you could just drive right in. This is the <laughs> best, best plan, plan, plan ever. ever. Drive more like a German. What does that mean? You're all over the road. Be more precise. For the love of God, will you stop waving at them? I'm just being friendly. Oh, hello, Fritz. Oh, hello, Hans. Oh, Dieter, you're looking quite Aryan today. When we get caught, my only request is that they shoot you first. to go. That way. What are you doing? You're going the wrong way. Do you want to drive? I told you I did.
you lost? No, I'm just making sure the Germans can find us. You are lost. All right, I'm turning around. Voila. See? Bonjour, Vincent. Bonjour, Juliette. Fantastic. This is exactly what we needed. Great work. Nah, it was nothing. We almost died. Next stop is Marcel's bookshop. He's putting together a very special bomb for Gestapo headquarters. Oula, look at that. That's a German bomber. A Heinkel 111. <sighs> Looks like the RAF got a piece of it over England. But it's headed towards town. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't hit the bookshop. What is wrong with you? You'd better get over there. Just in case. We have even bigger problems than that. They're rounding up all the civilians. Me. She's a sweet girl, but in over her head. Let me handle this. Headquarters is short staffed, so they sent me down here. They are supposed to secure the area. They just took away the old man who owns the bookshop. Was he injured? No, but he sure did use a lot of interesting curse words when they put him on the truck. Juliette, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. No one is listening to me. Listen up! You all know who I am. I am the girl who knows all the locals. So, I am the girl who knows the black market. I am the girl who gets the commanders, their chocolates, their wine, even their fancy perfumes for their wives, and sometimes their maîtresses. So, I am their favorite. And Emmy here is my favorite. I would recommend that you listen to her. <laughs> Danke schön. Time to improvise. I'll keep everyone out of the shop while you find Marcel's bomb. It should be upstairs, in his secret workshop. Hurry, Lieutenant. Time is of the essence.
Merci. This will do the job nicely. Here, I pulled this from behind the shelf. Play it over the shortwave radio. It's a message signaling to the resistance that the attack is about to start. Once the music plays, the Nazis will know that you're helping the resistance, so make sure you're ready. Good luck, Lieutenant. I'll see you at Gestapo headquarters. Good job, Lieutenant. Now we have an appointment at Gestapo headquarters. <laughs> 